So let's start with the introduction to Radio Access Network. So what is Radio Access Network no? or RAN? To set stage, so let's start this uh, brief overview of what RAN is and its role in the telecommunications ecosystem. Okay, so Radio Access Network, these are uh, commonly known as uh, cell sites. These are strategically placed to provide wireless coverage to users within a specific geographic area. And you can see it all around you. Okay, you can see it everywhere actually. And the placement of radio access network or run components such as the cell site is critical to ensure that uh, users have reliable and consistent uh, access to the network services they need. So when you're planning the deployment of radio access network, uh, network operators consider various factors such as the population density, okay, topography, uh, building density, and traffic patterns within the coverage area. So by analyzing these factors, network operators can determine the optimal location and configuration of front components to ensure maximum coverage and uh, capacity. So like, for example, in urban areas with high population density and building density, uh, network operators may need to deploy more cell sites with lower output power to provide coverage to smaller areas. While in some rural areas with lower population density, uh, network operators may need to deploy fewer sites with higher output power to provide coverage to larger areas. So the placement of radio access network uh, also affects the overall network performance. As you can see, uh, we need to put a lot of cell sites in different parts of the Philippines, uh, like for example, just to provide uh, seamless coverage and mobility. Okay, So we need to be strategic in placing this uh, radio access network. Now let's see the mobile network coverage. Okay, network now. So we need to put a different uh, uh, radio access network in different places, okay? Because the output power of this uh, uh, radio access network or cell sites is just uh, in a typical, like for example, from the radio, typical is 20 watts, 40 watts, or 80 watts in some extent. No? That's why the coverage is uh, very limited compared to a broadcast station, okay? And the tower height of this uh, radio access network probably the highest might be 50 meters or 60 meters in in height. Very frequent, you can see uh, 100 meters of a cell site. Uh, unlike uh, the uh, broadcast stations, which you can see around 100 meters and then transmitting at a higher power rate. Okay, So you need to put a lot of cell sites in different parts of the country to create a seamless coverage. Okay, So thousands of radio access elements create seamless coverage and mobility. So whenever you want to go from one place, from Manila, going to Pampanga, so you will have a seamless uh, coverage. You will not uh, make a drop call. Wireless telecommunication system components are composed of uh, three main uh, parts. We have the user terminals. So the user terminals, these are the user equipment uh, for 3G, 4G, or 5G. And uh, also a mobile st mobile station if you're using a 2G. Okay, so um, the examples of these are user terminals uh, such as smartphones, uh, tablets, laptops, and other mobile devices that are equipped with wireless connectivity features, such as the cellular from 2G to uh, 5G. And then uh, the user terminals are connected. Uh, through the radio access network or RAN. So the RAN is responsible for providing the wireless connectivity required for mobile uh, devices to connect to the core network and access the services. So the radio access network includes um, different parts of, uh, of antenna system, uh, radio and the baseband unit, okay? So these uh, two are connected via air interface. So we are using a wireless connectivity. We are using a different uh, frequency, set of frequencies. We call it the radio frequency, okay? And the radio access network is also connected 
to the core network or the CN. So the core network is responsible for managing the overall operation of the network. So it includes routing traffic between different uh, networks and providing advanced services such as voice calling, messaging, and data services. And there are different means to connect uh, the core network and the radio access network. So um, these are connected uh, via microwave wirelessly or physical cable or fiber optic. And uh, if there's a challenge in terrain or uh, large distances, and then you are limited by the curvature of the earth, you will use a satellite okay, to interconnect these two. Okay. So this is the main components of a radio access network, of a wireless telecommunication system. You have the user terminals connected to the radio access network and core network. Now let's focus on the radio access network. So radio access network, this is the one, uh, this is the part of, um, of a wireless telecommunication system that uh, nearest, that is nearest to the subscribers. Okay? You see it all around you. Kahit saan, pwede mo makita to. Uh, you can see it in the malls, you can see it on uh, mountains, rooftops, uh, wall mounted on a building. Okay? And the location is widely distributed. So you can uh, see it everywhere. And since it is uh, transmitting uh, not uh, high power, uh, thousands of front elements uh, create seamless coverage and mobility. So RAN is all around you. Okay. Have you ever stopped to think about um, how your mobile device or cell phone is able to connect to the internet and make calls and text while you're on the go? It's, uh, it's all thanks to radio access network that's all around you. Okay, so next time you're out and about, take a look around you. So you'll likely see cell towers and antennas on top of a building, okay, or along the side of the road, or uh, uh, even in the mountain or even inside the malls. So this type of antennas, okay, are inside the malls. So we call it the in-building solutions, okay? So when you look at... Uh, uh, outside the mall, mamaya makita nyo, no? uh, meron tayong mga antennas like this. So some people, um, napagkakamalan nila yung uh, Wi-Fi access points. Okay? But it's not a Wi-Fi access point. No? It's an omnidirectional antenna or sometimes an active antenna uh, that belongs to a radio access network. Okay? So if you uh, take a look on the overall architecture of an IBS, the IBS is... Uh, Looks like this, no? So if uh, you will have a building like this, uh, you have a ground floor or second floor, the equipment are located uh, most of the time uh, either in the ground floor or basement or on the rooftop or roof deck. So you have this battery unit, the cabinet, the transmission unit, and the remote radio unit. And what is uh, unique in the indoor system, uh, like what you are seeing inside the malls, these are using uh, distributed antenna system or DAS. When you say distributed antenna system, um, just imagine the electromagnetic energy is being distributed equally or almost equally in every parts of the building. It's just like a water sprinkler, right? So you have a source of water supply and then you separate those... Uh, water with different uh, tubes and sprinklers but this time the water is now uh, an electromagnetic energy which is invisible to our eyes okay so this is uh, what we call the distributed antenna system okay so when you look at this so there's an electromagnetic energy radiating in uh, from this uh, omnidirectional antennas and also from this directional antennas so this is how um, the typical uh, in-building solution works. Okay, so this is not a Wi-Fi access point. So these are cellular network. 